Ethereum ecosystem is getting busier, not quieter. Amid Layer 2 shift many transactions are getting offloaded onto Layer 2 blockchains, and those should be included in any analysis of the Ethereum ecosystem. By Matt Kunk, Brian Rudick Jun 14, 2023 at 4 p.m. Mark B. Matt Kunk, Brian Rudick Jun 14, 2023 at 4 p.m. Mark B. Matt Kunk, Brian Rudick Jun 14, 2023 at 4 p.m. Mark from developer and decentralized application, DAP counts to progress along its roadmap to general public awareness, there are many metrics that may be used to measure Ethereum's progress over time. One of the most popular is transaction count, which is notable not only due to its correlation with items like adoption and fee generation, but also as it measures actual usage of the protocol itself. Unfortunately, transactions on Ethereum are now down about 26% from their May 2021 peak, possibly suggesting that Ethereum is, at best, temporarily moving backwards and, at worst, in long-term decline. However, neither is true. You're reading Crypto Long and Short, our weekly newsletter featuring insights, news and analysis for the professional investor. Sign up here to get it in your inbox every Wednesday. To better understand why Ethereum is thriving despite a falling transaction count, one must understand Ethereum's plans for the future. While Ethereum can directly facilitate all blockchain activities on the mainnet, consensus, execution, data availability and settlement, it is pioneering a more modular approach, enabling certain functionality to be outsourced to separate, optimized protocols for improved performance. Chief among these is execution, with transactions outsourced to layer follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.